The year 2023 has just begun, but some of our favorite celebrities have unfortunately passed away recently. We, as well as Hollywood, mourn their passing. Let's take a look at the famous people who left this world in the early months of 2023. Number 10, Jeff Beck. Legendary guitarist Jeff Beck died on January 10th at the age of 78 after contracting bacterial meningitis. Once named one of the five greatest guitarists ever by Rolling Stone, Beck's influence was immense. He's widely credited with expanding the possibilities of blues music and popularized the use of audio feedback and distortion, influencing the sound of heavy metal. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice, once as a member of the Yardbirds and once again for his work with the Jeff Beck Group. Beck also won eight Grammy Awards over the course of his career, the first being Best Rock Instrumental Performance in 1986 for Escape from the album Flash. In recent years, the rocker had collaborated with embattled actor Johnny Depp. The duo released a cover of John Lennon's Isolation in 2020, playing off the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Depp joined Beck on stage in the UK in June 2022 after his victory in the defamation trial against ex-wife Amber Heard. The Paris collaborative album 18 was released in July 2022. Number 9. Paco Rabanne Paco Rabanne, the iconic Spanish fashion designer known for his futuristic creations, died on February 3rd at the age of 88. In a statement posted on social media, the House of Paco Urban thanked him for establishing our avant-garde heritage and defining a future of limitless possibilities. Born Francisco Rabaneda Cuervo in Spain's Basque region, Raban moved to Paris with his mother after his father died in the Spanish Civil War. He grew up to become a star of 60s French fashion thanks to his use of unconventional materials like metal and plastic. One of his most iconic designs was the green sci-fi costume worn by Jane Fonda in Barbella. Number 8. Lola Chantrell Mitchell Gangsta Boo, a former member of the hip-hop group 3-6 Mafia, passed away. She was only 43 years old. Gangsta Boo, whose full name was Lola Chantrell Mitchell, was found unalive in her home in Memphis, Tennessee on January 1, 2023. A source told TMZ on January 1st that Gangsta Boo's death may have been from an overdose. The site reported that Gangsta Boo and her brother attended a concert in Memphis the night before she died, and her brother was hospitalized after he started to overdose later in the night. While her brother survived, sources told TMZ that a narcotic was found at her death scene, and the fentanyl lace substance is believed to have caused her death. Number 7. David Jolliker David Jolliker, the member of the iconic hip-hop trio De La Soul, who performed under the stage name True Goy the Dove, died at the young age of 54 because of congestive heart failure. Jolliker formed De La Soul alongside Kelvin Mercer and Vincent Mason in 1988. The group burst into the scene with their 1989 debut album, Three Feet High and Rising, which featured classic tracks such as Buddy and Me, Myself and I. The trio, best known for their use of eclectic samplings, have been celebrated for introducing rap to a broader audience, with Jellicur's lyricisms and wordplay helping cement the group's iconic status on music charts and within the wider culture. Later albums include De La Soul Is Dead, Stakes Is High, Balloon Mind State, The Grind Date, and The Anonymous Nobody. Number 6. C.J. Harris C.J. Harris, who made it into the top six on American Idol season 13, died on January 13th in Jasper, Alabama after suffering a medical emergency. Born in Jasper in 1991, Harris was inspired to take up music by his grandfather, who gave him a guitar when he was a child. He had one in the shed and it had three strings on it, Harris told The Hollywood Reporter in 2014. He said, I didn't need to buy a whole new set of strings. The singer first auditioned for American Idol in 2010 and also tried out unsuccessfully for Fox's The X Factor and NBC's The Voice. Undaunted, Harris returned to audition for Idol again in 2014, sure. where he impressed the judges with his rendition of the Allman Brothers' Soul Shine. After placing sixth on American Idol, Harris performed with the other contestants on the show's live tour, and he played with one of his musical influences, Darius Rucker, at the Grand Ole Opry in 2014. His debut single, In Love, was released in 2019. Number 5. Lisa Loring Lisa Loring, the former child star who played Wednesday Addams in the Addams Family 1960s sitcom, died on January 28th at the age of 64 from a stroke 
caused by smoking and high blood pressure, according to Loring's agent and friends. Born Lisa Ann DeCincy's in the Marshall Islands in 1958, Loring started her career as a child model. She soon scored a part in the Dr. Kildare medical drama. At the age of five and a half, she landed the role of Wednesday in the first adaptation of the Charles Adams New Yorker cartoons. Loring would go on to appear in The Girl from Uncle, Fantasy Island, Barnaby Jones, As the World Turns, Savage Harbor, and Dr. Spine. Number four, Adam Rich. Adam Rich, the former child star who played Nicholas Bradford on the sitcom Eight is Enough, died on January 7th at the age of 54 in his home in Los Angeles. The cause of his death was not made public yet. In addition to the family sitcom, which ran from ABC's 19 which ran on ABC from 1977 to 1981, Rich also appeared on several shows and TV movies throughout much of the late 1970s, 80s, and 90s, including Chips, Fantasy Island, Small Wonder, Dungeons and Dragons, Code Red, and Baywatch. He briefly returned to acting in 2003 to play himself in the comedy film Dickie Roberts, former child star. He also reprised his role as the youngest Bradford son in the TV movies Eight is Enough, A Family Reunion, and An Eight is Enough Wedding. Number 3. Jay Briscoe The world of WWE mourns the shocking death of one of the biggest tag team wrestlers of all time, Jay Briscoe, who suddenly passed away at the age of 38 in a tragic car collision. The wrestling champion, Jamie Pugh, famously called Jay Briscoe, started his in-ring career while he was just a teenager. Gradually, he made his name in the world of pro wrestling as he teamed with his brother Mark in Ring of Honor. Briscoe not only gained a number of fans in his two-decade-long career, but also earned several accolades including the ROH Tag Team title more than 10 times. Not too long ago, the man managed to win the ROH final battle where he defeated FTR. Jay also had a pretty successful career as a singles wrestler. The man won the ROH World Championship twice. In fact, Briscoe was one of the first wrestlers to inaugurate ROH as part of the Hall of Fame in 2022. He has been a successful part of NJWP and Impact Wrestling Tag Teams. Number 2. Lisa Marie Presley Lisa Marie Presley, the singer-songwriter and daughter of Elvis Presley, died on January 12th at the age of 54, following a suspected cardiac arrest. Her sudden death shocked the whole world. The only child of Elvis and Priscilla Presley, Lisa Marie, proved she was a musician in her own right by releasing her debut album, To Whom It May Concern, on which she wrote or co-wrote every song. The album reached number five on the Billboard 200 chart and would later go on to be certified gold. Her sophomore album, Now What?, also debuted in the top 10 on the Billboard 200 Albums chart. She was married four times to Danny Keough, Michael Jackson, Nicolas Cage, and Michael Lockwood, and had four children, including actress Riley Keough. Lisa Marie's casket was buried on the property's meditation garden on Thursday, January 19th, next to her beloved son, Benjamin. Her son tragically took his own life back in July 2020. Lisa Marie had never recovered from this tragedy and continued to blame herself every day since his death, hoping that the two of them finally find peace together. Number 1. Barbara Walters The legendary broadcaster who broke barriers for women in news as the first female co-host of the Today Show and created The View died at the age of 93 on December 30th at her home in New York. Tributes poured in from celebrities and other journalists alike, recognizing Walters for her trailblazing nature and contributions to culture. In a career spanning multiple decades and mixing entertainment and hard news, Barbara Walters shattered glass ceilings and became the most durable, versatile, and colorful television host of her era. Walters was married three times to Bob Katz in 1955, to Lee Goober, with whom she adopted a daughter, Jacqueline, and to TV producer Merv Adelson, whom she divorced for the second time in 1992. Walters was very popular and loved by the public. She will obviously never be forgotten. Which celeb will you miss the most? Let us know in the comments section below.